the first loop will go to from here to here oh will go here through here oh not actually actually to here all right the second will go the actual value of i to the end of the array so uh, where uh, how is it go it always uh, oh by the way let me show uh, uh, the terminal Oh right, I just rewrite the program a little bit, so we can see how it work. I changed to uh, five value because uh, we don't have so much time. All right, this was the original, and this is the sorted array. <coughs> all right, uh, first of all, it w the i starts fr uh, starts with this, so a i is one and the uh, a j is uh, one two so uh, one is not greater than one so it will go through these element all of them and search if is so is it find a lower a less big value than one here if so we just swap it it is just as simple as that as you can see here uh, this is after the first uh, loop so there is nothing change in it because there is no lower value than one all right then the ai becomes the three actually the ten becomes the ten and go through the array and try to search a uh, less value in this case it will find the free free is less than 10 so it will just swap that two it is right here so it swap that two but it will not exit or break here because it go through and uh, try to search a uh, less value so it's try to search something that less than 3 all right the next is ai becomes the 9 uh, and the j so aj will go through these actually not these because they are swapped now so the 10 and the 9 is here like that uh, it go uh, goes through them and try to search a uh, less value than 9 it doesn't succeed in this case because the, the lowest value is 9 which is not less than 9 so it will not swap them and uh, the final uh, stage it will the AI is become 10 and try to search a lower value than 10 it will find the 9 so this will swap that uh, 2 value and actually that is the final order so we can run again this program and as you can see there is now another example so first of all AI becomes 9 and try to search a less value than 9 it will succeed it and find the one so it's that it will go through the the other element but it's not find uh, some uh, less than uh, one all right the next uh, uh, stage when the the outer for loop i becomes two so nine it goes through the other elements like ten nine nine and it f uh, finds the free and swap them after them the i becomes free uh, so it will be the 10 actually and try to search a less element it will find a less element so 9 
and swap them. It will examine the 9 too, but 9 is not less than 9, so uh, nothing happened there. Next, it will be equal to 10, so AI is 10, and goes the inner for loop will go through the array, in this case it is only just the 9 left, so it will examine the 9, and uh, if it is equal, uh, it is less than 10, which it is, it will swap them, and actually that is the final order. It is such a simple to the such simple to see through this algorithm. So in this case, the lowest value is the end of the array. So first of all, a i is become five, and uh, a j becomes 5 too, although I think this example we should do i plus 1. It will not change the result, but it will uh, not waste a processor cycle while it examines that value. Uh, right? And the inner for loop will go through these. It will go through the 9, 9 is le not less, 9 is not less, 7 is not less, and uh, 1 is less than 5, so it will change them. And here is this order. After them the AI becomes the 9 and try to search a lower value. It will succeed because there is a 5 there which is swept there at the moment before. So we s swap them and I think you understand the basic of the uh, simple sorting. This is the most basic sorting algorithm and easily can be rewrite to actually any programming language. For example for Java it could almost uh, stay like that, just change a few things like uh, how to declare uh, array and the random number and actually the other other things I most likely mm, uh, you have you don't have to change the other or write the other like PHP you can do that because the the for loop is simple and you can handle array like that and actually any programming language, even for <coughs> assembly, you can uh, apply this algorithm after you have a little experience with assembly. And that's for now, this is the most basic sorting algorithm, as I said, in the next lesson I will make a maximum and a minimum search. Thank you for